And one of the things that I very much wanted to see was what a dream looks like. Now the person goes to sleep and begins to dream. And it is magnificent because it shows that you are actually activating parts of the cortex. It's not necessarily the part that's receiving information from the eyes. It is called association cortices. So when you dream, you have sound and you have feelings. And so this is the part of the brain, the posterior brain, that makes the images. So we see that the brain is making images, point one. Point two, we see the anterior part of the, of the temporal lobe, indicating not only are you seeing images, but you have emotional components related to the dreaming. So a dream is a physical event that can be measured that can be looked at. That's the, the, the force of this kind of research, so you can actually see what's going on inside the head. It is a magnificent organ. It takes 25% of all the energy. So it's, you know, it's unbelievable. But also it makes us. And sometimes it doesn't. Right. When you fall asleep, you disappear. You don't exist. Which means the brain has many functional states. And you are only one of the functional states of your brain.